I hated computer science my entire life and I thought I would never study this subject ever. But then I got to San Francisco and I had a massive shift and I realized that this is probably one of the most important things to learn in college. Most people just see us, I think, because they want to learn how to code or they want a high paying job or they feel like they're going to be in demand for the entirety of their lives, which is partially true, especially now with AI, probably not fully true. But CS is also one of the easiest degrees to get if you want to get into the smartest rooms, especially right now with AI, to understand how to problem solve very well, which will be super critical in the future. And it's basically a superpower that will let you amplify any other thing that you're learning or any other skills that you're passionate about. I was an artist for most of my life and then I chose TS because I was always interested in a little bit of math but I feel like this was one of the best decisions that I made because art I can learn by myself. It's very easy to learn by yourself. You just need to be alone in a room for 12 hours and you'll figure it out. CS made people trust me. It made people think I know what I'm talking about. It made me able to have conversations with people who are extremely, extremely smart in problem solving and creative thinking and critical thinking and who work at top companies right now. And it made me able to also understand what they're saying because I don't think I would have if I was having an art degree. So what CS I think actually teaches you is systems thinking. You stop seeing the world as chaos and you start thinking in like logical patterns and you start seeing those patterns and Actually, it's kind of cool to look at the world in this logical way of trade-offs and then advantages and stuff like that. It used to teach you a lot of mental endurance. Now I don't think it does anymore just because you have AI and every time you get stuck, it's kind of fucked up because you go to AI. But before it used to teach you a lot of mental endurance because you have a lot of errors and then you have to solve them and there's no one there that can help you solve them. And it's also not important at all what tools, coding languages you learn because AI will probably be able to write in any language. What's important in you knowing exactly how to solve a problem and to understand what AI is telling you. And also you do learn tools, but I think the main tool you learn is how to solve problems and then how to tell an AI or how to tell yourself how to solve that problem. But I think in the future you won't really need to learn the coding language itself, maybe just to understand it, but you will need to know how to express how you solve a problem to someone else. and especially to a machine. What no one tells you, especially now, is that CS is now AI. It's not necessarily just learning how to code. And AI will right now write your code. And in most of big companies and even smaller companies, AI writes most of the code. Software engineers and people who work in tech are just very good prompt engineers and they know exactly what to ask and they know how to solve the problem anyway. Like they know how to solve that problem. They know exactly what the AI needs to do. It's just way more efficient for them to use AI. I think as much as you're learning in your CS school, if you're not learning about AI in parallel, you're wasting a lot of time. But also if you're in CS, it's probably inevitable that you're going to use AI a lot, which is also good because you train yourself on how to use AI and what's the best usage for AI and how to systematically prompt it so that it gives you exactly what you want. One thing that I really wish I knew is how much it can actually amplify your work and your passions. Like if you're into psychology, you can use CS and data to basically analyze any kind of model and model behaviors and understand human psychology way more than you would if you didn't know the skill. If you're an entrepreneur, you can literally MVP your own product in a few days or a few hours. If you're a marketer, you can analyze growth data and you will look at numbers way differently than you will look now as a marketer without CS skills. It also gives you the power to be able to do mostly of whatever you want to do in tech. Like after you finish a CS degree, you will have had enough experience to build your own products if you want to, especially with AI. So it basically gives you fluency. So it basically gives you such a powerful toolkit that people would not usually use if you're not in this degree. I also wish I knew how much math is involved in CS and especially because you're going to have to take a lot of very, very hard or hard-ish math classes for your CS degree. You have to learn logic, you have to learn proofs, you have to learn data structures and probability statistics. Although it's not that hard in retrospect, it felt hard when I was learning it just because I did not have that much experience with it. I also wish I knew how lonely it can feel because you're alone with your computer and with a chatbot and that's all you do. You do communicate with others in teams and it's very important to have this communication, but most of the time, especially when you're learning, you're usually by yourself. And usually the best people in CS and the most passionate people about CS are the ones that literally we stay in a room for like hours and hours without eating, talking to anyone and just code forever, which 
I am not that person. I also wish I knew that you should learn things outside of your degree if you want to truly be successful in your degree. Right now, I think one of the most important skills to learn and things to know about is philosophy, if you're pairing it with CS. Just because we will have a philosophy crisis in the future, especially an ethics crisis, because AI will probably have some problems in our culture in our society and every single time you're building something you should be asking yourself what are the implications of what i'm building and what kind of things are is going to affect what in the future are you actually improving society or are you harming it this thought pattern will be extremely important especially if ai will get so smart that we will have to put some regulations in place in order for it to not take over the world. Communication is also a skill that I think you should learn because most coders have no idea how to communicate and those who do end up managers and end up getting 10x from what they get now. And also communicating will 10x your impact itself. Like it's it really does not matter how good of a coder you are. The one who can communicate better and has similar or lower than similar skill sets from you will get a higher salary, you will get a higher position and will probably end up funding their project because investors who invest in your project or your product or especially if you want to start a startup they will look at how well you know to sell your product because in the beginning you will sell a vision you're not going to be selling something like skills or team or whatever you're selling a product you're selling a vision and if that person does not want to buy from you then they will not if you cannot explain what you build and especially in a way that's very compelling you will probably have a lot of problems in cs you'll probably get a good salary but i don't know how fulfilled you will feel and i think you should also learn psychology because Human-centered design and human-centered products are probably one of the most important things you can possibly learn. And human interaction and human connection will be very valuable skills in the future, especially right now we don't even see them as skills. So understanding how people think, how they decide, how they learn, those things are very important, especially because it will make your code very meaningful and you will be more than someone who builds and likes the dopamine of making something and more someone who finds meaning into the work. It's very exciting and I think it's very fun to learn CS in this time because you can literally understand whatever's happening in the AI world and you will probably be at the frontier of whatever is happening in AI. New tools launch every month, you have to learn every month a new thing and that's actually fun for the people who are in the CS degree. And you don't actually need to be a genius, you can probably get away with having some iq but also being super curious and super excited for learning new things hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch more videos on psychology and ai and how to deal with your high school college years then you should watch this playlist love you guys have the best day of your life kisses bye bye